Hey guys, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to be making an amazing drawing application where you can draw in all kinds of different colors and adjust your brush size. And we're going to be doing it with the help of jQuery. All right, so let's get started. This is what I have in the HTML. Just a link to our style sheet. Uh, top bar here has three buttons, save, undo, clear has a color picker and it has a brush size selector. Here's our drawing canvas, a link to jQuery, and a link to our JavaScript file. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with styling the top bar a little bit, actually the body, because we have to get rid of the margin to make everything fit properly. Okay, so no margin for the body. And top bar. I'm going to say display flex because I like display flex and actually it's because we are changing the flex direction to row so that everything's in a nice even row and set a background color of 3AF a light blue ish and a border bottom 2 pixels solid black all right that's what's looking like right now. I'm going to add some space around these by saying top bar star and give them a margin of 5 pixels, 10 pixels. Okay. Eh, that looks fine. Okay. And then. Okay, so we have a canvas here, but it's 300 pixels by 150 pixels, which is kind of small. I mean, go big or go home, right? So we're going to make it fill the whole screen. And to do that, in our CSS, we're going to have to set a display of block so that all the sizing and stuff works properly. Okay, so... That's just about it for our style sheet. Now let's get started in the JavaScript, which is where we're going to change the canvas size, by the way. So I'm going to just type out our variables and a couple functions with that we're going to be using just to get the skeleton down. So variables, canvas, context. Uh, we're going to have a brush variable which is an object, has an X coordinate, a Y coordinate, which these are going to correlate directly to the mouse coordinates. It has a color, which is going to start out as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, black. And a size, which is going to start out at 10, because, uh, well, the default color and color pickle pickers is black. And here I set the default value of this uh, brush size slider to 10. It has a minimum size of 1 and a maximum size of 50. So we're starting the size at 10. And is the mouse down? Well, starting out, we're just going to say no. Next, we have strokes. Strokes, which is going to hold each stroke is as a separate object in that array so we can redraw them over and over again and that'll allow us to provide undo functionality and our current stroke just a reference to the last stroke which right now is nothing okay and that looks pretty good so now our functions redraw where well, we're gonna redraw the whole canvas here and function init for initialize and then init when the document is ready okay so starting here we're going to set up the canvas all right canvas our attribute set the attribute width equal to window dot inner width and height 
window.inner height. The reason we aren't doing whoops. The reason we aren't doing canvas.width to set the width is that this actually sets the attribute in the HTML, which is what we want. If we set it in the CSS, it will scale the canvas weird. So we're well, we're setting these as attributes in the in the DOM, in the document itself, basically. Okay, and we're gonna grab our context from the canvas. Two D. All right. Um, we're gonna give the canvas a temporary background color so we can see it of red. All right. So this is what we have. As you can see, we have scroll bars, which is not what we want. We want the canvas to fill all the screen and nothing but the screen. So scroll bars are well bad, and. I'm just going to take the easy way out and say, well, we're going to make this top bar not take up, um, not not push the canvas down. So I'm going to position this absolutely. Say position absolute in a width of 100% then. And that way we have no scroll bars and the canvas fits the window perfectly. And that red is hurting my eyes. All right, there we go. Continuing on, let's add our mouse event listeners. So canvas dot mouse down. Uh, there's E for event and brush dot down is true because the mouse just got clicked down on the canvas and so we have to set the coordinates to brush dot x equals e dot page x brush dot y equals e dot page y okay and now we're starting a new stroke because the mouse just got pressed down so our current stroke equals um, color, brush, color, size, brush, size, and points. We're going to have an array of points, which we are going to draw a path along uh, in our redraw function. We're going to draw a path along the points in each stroke. And so current stroke dot points dot push a new point at brush dot x well brush uh, x brush dot x and y brush dot y okay and then redraw okay and now for the mouse up this is going to be pretty similar to the mouse down actually except it is now false that the brush is down um, but okay we're not gonna have this either we're gonna say current stroke equals null oh and uh, up here we're starting a new stroke but we have to put it in our array of strokes so strokes.push current stroke like that okay and as you can see there's kind of well ah oh, I missed this this is the part that I wanted to delete not, um, right here not this all right there is quite a bit of duplicate code here so I'm going to add another function containing that because it'll make it cleaner uh, for all mouse events mouse event and inside of this 
Let's see. We are going to have all of those pieces of code. And then we can remove this, remove this, remove this, and just say mouse event E. Remove this and replace this with mouse event E. And now on mouse move, we have another function. And this one's a lot simpler. It's if brush dot down mouse event e. Okay. And there we go. Now this is going to be collecting points into our strokes array and That'll be all set up nicely. Now let's add some stuff in our redraw function to make us be able to actually see what's going on. You know, it's a painting application. That's kind of the point that you see what's going on. Anyways, <laughs> ctx clear rect. Clear the whole thing. OK. And now we're going to loop through each of the strokes. And var s equals strokes i. That's our current stroke. Going to set the context.stroke style s.color. The line width is the s dot size. And let's see here. Ctx dot begin path. OK. And another for loop to loop through the points in the stroke and draw a path along those points. Uh, we also need Ctx dot move to s dot points 0 dot x and s dot points 0 dot y now for bar j equals 0 j is less than s dot points dot length j plus plus okay and then line 2 well, var p equals s dot points j line 2 p dot x and p dot y and then stroke all right I think this should be working now no it's not Canvas dot get of course. Um, Cause that's a jQuery. There we go. Now it's drawing. Okay, so we are getting preliminary drawing capabilities here, you know, but um, the line ending it's called the line cap see it just ends in a straight flat edge that's the square line cap and we don't want that we want it to be round so ctx dot line cap round and that way it'll look more like a brush see now it's round at the ends okay so we have the basic drawing functionality down now let's add functionality to these buttons, and we'll be just about done. OK. Come down here. And the Save button. Save button. On click. And I'm going to copy this for our three buttons. 
undo and clear. The save button, we're going to open a new window. It's not going to actually open a save dialog because that's a little more complex to actually make work. So we're going to go the simple, easy route of just opening a new tab uh, with the PNG data of the canvas as the URL. So canvas 0.2 data URL. And now when we press on the save button, oh, I forgot the, I always forget that. These are IDs, so we need that for the selector to work properly. Draw a little bit, press the save button. Now we get a data URL that is really long, and that's the the image data. And this is this is an actual image here, so I could I could save this now. Now the undo button. We're going to just pop the last stroke off of the strokes array and redraw. So strokes dot pop and redraw. So that'll that'll remove the last stroke. And okay, so I have a bunch of strokes, but I didn't like some of those, so undo a couple of them, you know, and that works. And now for the clear button, we're just going to completely reset the strokes or array and redraw so you know I have a whole bunch of strokes I didn't like some of them you know what I don't like any of them and they're all gone perfect okay now to add functionality to this color picker not too hard color picker on input, if I can spell function properly, my goodness, we are going to set the brush color equal to this dot value. And let's see if that works properly. Okay, so I'm drawing in black, and now I'm drawing in a indigo. Nope, what's wrong? Brush color equals this dot value. Of course, I see. I, I forgot that again. Oh my goodness! Let's try drawing in yellow. There we go. It works. And finally, for this brush size slider, which doesn't do anything right now, but we're gonna fix that. Brush size on input. I forgot it again. My goodness. Brush cults the size equals this dot value. All right. So I'm drawing in black. I'm drawing in red. Drawing huge lines in red. Drawing tiny lines in red. And drawing in between sized lines in red. All right, everybody, and that is how you make a simple drawing application in JavaScript with the help of jQuery. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned something from it. My name is Jacob. Don't forget to subscribe, and have a good one.